Welcome to the Art Lady's Home. Today I am feeling liberated because my wonderful HE washing machine that used to only feel, fill up five inches of water at the bottom is now filling up with a little help of me to almost a complete wash, which should, it should properly do. And I'm gonna share with you how I did that in my video. And it's not messing with any of the controls because I did look online about how people have messed with the fill buttons and whatnots. This is basically manually adding your own water. And for the last year, I have been just bringing water in, and this is the machine I have. I've been just bringing water in from the kitchen sink and carrying it across my living room into the laundry room. Buckets after buckets after buckets to fill it, and it would still only fill halfway. After I added about 10 gallons of water. So I did a little simple hack on these hose this, with this um, hot water feed. I'm gonna show you how I did that. But I can't tell you what a great feeling it is to take a load of laundry out of the dryer and have it smell clean and fresh. Because with this machine, in the past, before I had manually filled it with my garden hose here, right here, and this is where I store my garden hose, so it's upright after I've used it. Um, but before, in the past, it's been only five inches of water. And when you have a load of towels, it's not even saturating those towels. And I'd have to, have to wet the towels first. And I don't care what any experts say. I don't care what anybody says, says that when I use this machine in the past, the towels, after you've used this cycles and did this for several years, the towels are just not fresh anymore. And none of my clothes are really feeling fresh anymore. And my sheets are not fresh anymore. And it's an accumulated buildup of things that haven't been washed out over years. Um, and that's when I finally just said, I just can't stand it. I'm washing my sheets and they come out not even fresh. Now, in the beginning, it was okay. They weren't as bad as what they are now, but they were already really washed well to be before I got this machine. And so I think it took a while for the odors or whatnot to build up, bacteria and the whatever, but it did. And I just couldn't stand any clothes anymore. The sheets were the worst because you could really, I, I really love the feeling of jumping into bed with fresh, sheet, clean sheets. And I never got that anymore with this washing machine. And f even though I've loaded, lugged gallons of water in, I only filled it halfway because how many times can you run back and forth to fill up your water, your, your thing? I think I did about seven or eight big buckets each time, but it still never filled the machine beyond halfway. So this was my little hack that I did. And I just feel so liberated. I feel wonderful. It's exciting to have a washing machine now that actually can wash the clothes with all that water. And it's removing, it's it's really saturating the clothes and removing any of the odors or bacteria or germs that are in that those clothes. And when you wash it with small, small amounts of water, like I said, I don't care what those experts say, it's not doing the job. And it may look clean, it may scrub any food debris out of it. I'm an art teacher, so I have paint and things. It may get some of those paint spots, but the fresh, clean smell of it isn't there because you're taking all of those germs and bacteria and whatnots and just putting a little bit of water in there and just dispersing them all over the, all over all the other clothes. And what I really didn't like about this is I only could wash a few pairs of pants at a time, a few things at a time because it just didn't have enough water to agitate. And so this is my hack finally. Finally I <laughs> I took some time to go to the go to the hardware store actually and buy those little pieces and I just feel so great. It feels wonderful to see an entire an entire load of wash finally. And like I said, I could only wash a few things at a time, maybe three towels, three pool towels at a time. And it just still wasn't getting it clean. So here's my little hack and I hope you uh, feel liberated after you fix your machine as well.
this is the brass shutoff connector that I purchased. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on the hot water tap going into the washing machine. That way, uh, th that way, when I connect the washing machine to this area, I'll keep this on, and then I'm going to connect this six-foot hose to this side. That way, I can manually control the water, and it'll go directly into the washing machine instead of me lugging buckets from a sink into the washing machine. I'll be able to just do it directly right here at the washing machine. I did wrap some plumber's tape uh, several times around just to be sure. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but I don't want any leaky areas behind my washing machine. Here's the hot and cold shutoffs. And you can see how I have both of these attached right here. And now I'm just going to attach it to the hot water shut off. And I chose the hot water because I very rarely wash with hot water. That way I'm not disturbing much of the flow of the cold water intake because there is a small ball on here that closes. And so the opening's smaller than a normal um, opening from this, um, this attachment. Now I installed everything back together. And on the hose side, I used extra plumber's tape because that was an inexpensive hose. And voila, I was able to fill up my washing machine more than halfway. Let's see where the suds are. So I'm quite excited. I do want to give a little common sense word of caution that when you fill the washing machine, don't leave it unattended. Leave, you know, don't leave the garden hose filling up while you walk around and do stuff. It only takes less than a minute to fill up, fill up with the garden hose and you don't want to overfill the washer. I'm only filling it six to eight inches from the top rim here. And that way that any kind of splashing is contained in the barrel in that barrel in the washer and then I don't want to have any water that's being added to the machine during cycle to overflow the machine. So I'm being very careful with the amount that I am adding but it is definitely way more than what um, the machine would normally give me. So just be cautious of what you're adding. I want to thank all of my patrons for supporting this channel and if you would like to become a patron uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then you can go ahead and click the title of the video and it will take you to my Patreon account. Again, thank you all who have subscribed.